want to kick things off with another comedian. She is fresh off TBS's Conan, doing her debut on TV. She's also got to jet out of here right after her set because she hosts a weekly show at the UCB East called Fresh Out with Adam Conover, a great stand-up showcase. Please welcome her now, Miss Emily Heller. that I was like, just play something I listened to freshman year of college. <laughs> Every show I ask for that. Sometimes it's Modest Mouth, sometimes Bright Eyes, always embarrassing. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good. I just finished house sitting. Has anyone ever done that? I'm new to it. Um, I'm learning a lot about it. Here's something I didn't know about house sitting. Apparently, when you're house sitting, you are not supposed to break their stuff. <laughs> Have you heard this rule? Super weird. I just made a game out of it. When my sister came back from out of town, I made it like one of those games in Highlights Magazine. Because I was like, okay, you remember what the apartment looked like before. Can you spot the six differences? I broke five plates and one of the cats is gone. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you the answer key right now. I actually did something that I know for sure you're not supposed to do when you're house sitting, which is I made a sex tape in the apartment. <laughs> Hear me out though, I'm not in it. <laughs> it's not what you think. I just made a tape of one of her cats just going at it with one of her winter boots. <laughs> I didn't even have to direct him, he was just doing it every night for a half hour while maintaining eye contact with me. Here's what I find most disturbing about that, aside from the fact that I am an adult and I filmed it. She also has a girl cat. Right? He has options. How ugly must that girl cat feel that every night he's like, listen, I know that you are literally the only other cat I have ever seen. Still think I'm going with the boot, yeah. And I know this is inappropriate for me to say as a human, but her girl cat is a 10. Her boy cat may be a four. He's in no position to turn that down. My sister gets mad at me when I say that. She's like, come on, he's more than a four. I'm like, I'm sorry, wait, let me just get this straight. Do you want me to find your cat more fuckable? We need to spend less time together. <laughs> I'm single, I've been single for a while, and I have to say, it's going very well. Like, it's working out. I think I'm the one. I really like it. I don't have to wear makeup anymore. I got some pajama jeans. It's been a really long time since anyone was mad at me. I like that. I just like, I think I like being single more because I'm, when I'm single, I am stable. You know, when I'm in a relationship, I don't know about you, but when I'm in a relationship, the highs are really high and the lows are really low and I go back and forth all the time. It's like being bipolar, I can't stand it. When I'm single, I'm just right here, you know? The highs are not as high, that's true, like you guys who are in relationships, when you guys are at your highest, right? When you guys are like hugging and kissing and whispering. It's been a while, I don't remember exactly everything that you do. When you guys are doing that, yes, I am at home watching Frasier. That's true. But when you guys are fighting and crying and compromising and going through each other's cell phones and going to parties with people you hate, I'm watching Frasier. Okay, I'm just right here at home watching some Frasier. I do not hear the blues of Colin toss salad and scrambled eggs. We got some Frasier heads in the house. I'm into it. Being single really is 
is like the Frasier of emotional states, <laughs> right? Because like, it's never too good. <laughs> Never too bad, it's just pretty reliable. It might get old eventually, but I could see doing this for 10, maybe 11 seasons, no problem. And if you think about it, which I have all the way through, Frasier, the character, Dr. Frasier Crane, he's single on that show. For 11 seasons, he's single on that show, and he's doing pretty good. Kelsey Grammer, on the other hand, the actor who plays Frasier, he's been married four times. He married a stripper who fired a gun at him. His Wikipedia page has a separate section entitled Sex Tape Lawsuit. <laughs> Would you rather be Kelsey Grammer or celebrated radio psychiatrist Dr. Fraser Crane? And yes, those are your only two options. <laughs> want to be single forever, anything could happen, Channing Tatum could get divorced, um, but I just like to say that I want to be single forever in front of my married friends, because they hate that, oh my god, they hate that so much. There's always one of them who will condescend to me about it, be like, you don't know that. You can't know that. You can't know that you're going to want something forever. <laughs> stupid of me to say that I'm going to want something forever in my 20s. <laughs> the only thing stupider would be to spend $30,000 on it. <laughs> if you're married and that offends you, I'm sorry, just go home, hug your spouse, know that I will not be doing that because Netflix does not have arms. <laughs> They haven't figured out that technology yet. Although if they know their clientele, they are working on it. Uh, thank you guys very much. I'm Emily Heller. <laughs>